Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the quantum queen. Sorry, that's my <laughs> dog sitting here eating his duck. Okay. So this is, of course, for a Gemini sun, moon, or rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Gemini and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are timeless readings, and if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I appreciate it so much. Gem. This is very interesting. Okay. Um, here's what I think is happening. Okay. Okay. So we have got, this is an interesting lineup. Just give me one second because I'm trying to figure out exactly what this means for you. Oh, do you know what I think it is? Gem. Okay. This is what it is. Ready? Okay. You guys are probably if not right now you're going to be soon okay things are going well for you um if uh, if not right now they are going to be soon i want to say that this is you the sun and the queen of rings or the queen of pentacles okay you've got a lot of positivity and abundance that's going to be coming in for you okay Maybe even something that will come in that you guys might actually be traveling, going to be closer, like in a sunny location. Okay, just throwing that out there. But you guys are going to be coming into some type of money. Okay, some type of like, that's probably what you're focusing on. And especially the more that you do that and, and especially focus on like your diet, things like that. Things are going really well in that area of your life, Gemini. Seriously, and I'm telling you guys, if you have not seen it yet, you will be. What you have been putting your efforts into, this is what I've been talking about. Because I think it's, when, when is it? December oh, 7th, I think, is when Jupiter moves into Capricorn. And that's when we're going to start seeing a return of like all the energy and effort that you've been putting into things. So everything that you've been right putting the effort into because queen of pentacles is all about you putting the effort in into the material world you taking action you being grounded you taking care of your body i'm so sorry he's like attacking this duck so the more you do that the more rewards you're going to see from the efforts you're putting in that's why it's so important right now to every single day be putting you know the energy and effort into your your pentacles, your manifestation, your physical body, your karma, you know, like resolving your karma. So stop it. So what's happening, Gemini? You could, oh, I'm so sorry. You could have some people I feel like on the side that are jealous. Like this is two people I'm seeing. It could be another earth sign, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It could also be a fire sign, an Aries Leo Sag. Okay, just throwing that out there. Sorry, I had to throw that because it's driving me crazy. Okay, so what is happening is you've got some people that are straight up jealous. You know, like these are people, this could be family, friends. There are people that are still at a distance from you and watching you. Okay, both of these. And Gem, it's like they're, um, they're seeing you doing well is upsetting them, okay? Because I'm focusing on the shadow side of this greediness, lazy, entitlement, lacking motivation, okay? So take this however it applies. And then on this side, we've got dullness, apathy, instability, self-centered. That You've got some people in your life that I think you know are more selfish, you know, self-centered. You've been going through a lot of transformation process, like especially to be getting to the Queen of Pentacles. You've been through a lot to get to that point, okay? That's why a lot of positive things are going to be coming in for you. And you've got some people on the side that are not 
the happiest about it, okay? And I am sensing two separate people, male or female. Don't get caught up on that gender there. But there's someone here that's... I even want to say studying you a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, there are people kind of watching, and I feel like they're they're talking about you. You know, maybe you are starting to... Because the sun card, that can be in the spotlight you could be coming out in the spotlight especially from how you're transforming and there are people that are like talking about you pretty much okay but i just keep feeling like it's in this jealous way yeah oh yeah okay this is why what's been happening gem you've been this is what i feel is your energy you've been in this place where you've just been trying to hold your life together you're the sustainer right you've maybe even been the one that people went to maybe for advice you've been the wise one or the one that's more like grounded and stable when it comes to your knowledge and your wisdom and now it could be at the point where you're starting to apply that to yourself. You know what I mean? Like maybe, like I said, you guys could be just focusing on your finances and you're going to be some, seeing some return energy there. Here's what's happening, Kay. We've got the tear popping out. I was wondering if this was going to pop out today and there it is. So Gemini, there's someone in your experience that's going to be coming back in, okay? I don't know when or how this is going to look, but just heads up. This person is wanting to, like, make some type of an offering to you. But it's really interesting because I think what they're going to try to do is use a bit of manipulation, the tear, I feel like they are going to come in and cry to you. There's going to be some type of an argument that you have with a person in your life. Could be family, friend, sibling, however it applies. But this person, what they do, you're coming in as this grounded, stable one. Like you're elevating, you're doing all this work on yourself. A lot of positive things are happening for you. You've been able to sustain yourself and be like firm and immovable throughout all the chaos in your life you're incredible okay how you've been able to hold everything together is honestly beyond me so what's coming out here this person is going to come in and make some type of offer okay it's going to get a little bit heated they're going to try to cause a reaction from you but I, honestly in a way I'm kind of I'm not really seeing that you're going to take, at least from what I'm seeing from the cards. What they're going to start to do, because they're cutting, coming in as more of the maiden, right? They're going to try to use this as a manipulation tactic. Because you're starting to shut down, okay? Especially the more that you see this person and how, like, immature they are. They can be just really, like, just ridiculous just act like a child you know they like to get a rise out of you and other people and they are very like gossipy you know like just they they want they have all this greed i don't know how else to say it but what i'm saying they're gonna use this as a manipulation okay all of a sudden they're gonna like break out into tears or something and and maybe start playing all of a sudden they're going to pull into being the victim, okay? And you're going to see this crazy side of them where you'll see them all of a sudden shift. It's, it's kind of similar to, I can't remember whose read was like this, but this one is specifically bringing in the tear. You're going through some type of a cleansing with this person, okay? Purging. And this person is trying to even get you there whenever you go around them like i said this could be family because they're gonna know you better than freaking anyone so this person might be trying to uh like play a little bit more on your sensitivities jim and uh, someone from your childhood manipulative magician there it is right there So let's see what comes out. Let me just check on these before I keep talking, okay? Yeah, that's why. You've got the judgment card. So this is where you're going to start to see the mask come off. The false persona. 
um, how they seemed to be maybe caring or something in some way. I'm not even seeing so much of that, you know? Like, I think sometimes they can come across as being very positive, but underneath the surface, there's all this immaturity, you know? Just really, they could be all about money, you know, and wanting some type of, they want something from you, Gemini. Your emotional reactions, maybe even some of the abundance that you're coming across. Look at that. Ten of Wands, releasing the burden. You're, you're going to let them go. I mean, especially blocking. I think you're going to go back to this. Gem, you might kind of go in this cycle with this person. Where you eventually, it's kind of like, because of the Judgment card, that can be a rebirth. It's a resurrection. It's something that continuously comes back into your life. So because there's this lesson behind it all, it's something, it's still reflecting a part of you. There's still a really big karmic lesson there because it's a return of your own energy. So there's maybe something, that's why there's the moon card. It's a, it's your own subconscious, subconscious programming. This person has a lot of illusions though. Okay. They, they're very deceptive. Um, man just really manipulative how they handle things and the way they communicate okay they uh how, let me explain it in this way so this person what they'll try to do is they use different manipulation tactics like yeah they have some type of a like a spell the queen of wands she's the divination queen right she's got the black cat so she's more into the esoteric world but if if she's kind of operating more from the dark you know from shadow then she's gonna be more into binding people with her thoughts and her energy this person is very like dominant over your energy you know they probably come in and out of your life they'll reach out when they're needing some type of fill me up and it burdens you every time so they'll come back in they'll resurrect themselves and then sometimes i think maybe gem sometimes you're strong enough to cut the connection and you can stay away i think at other times though you cave and give in now what i was saying this person some of the manipulation tactics they use so they'll try to pull you in with i mean so many different things like word salad they'll pull you into like long conversations and it is how they suck your energy dry and you'll feel it like the second you go around them you'll just literally feel your energy drop and that's why i feel I, I was seriously pushed to do all these messages today and i feel like it's because it's a heads up for the holiday season and for people that are coming back into your life from the past burdens that probably should have been released a long time ago because some people don't change okay some people do gem but there are some people that you can literally see that they're not changing this is one of those people they're not changing they're not growing they're still in student page energy they're not moving on you are okay and you need to continue to do that because on the other side of things gemini like this is you becoming more empowered. And as you do that, you're going to have people come back in that want that from you. They want to have a little bit of a piece of that. Whatever type of positivity and empowerment is coming in for you. Okay. So I'm going to dive into this further in the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Just go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you on the other side. But Gem, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.